Victoria, welcome back. So today we have a class about Francis Bellamy. Francis Bellamy. Remember Francis Bellamy was born in New York? And what is he known for, this Francis Bellamy? Well, he was known and is still known to have written the original words of our Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the United States of America. Remember, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, did Francis Bellamy write all those 31 words? No, he did not. His original version was, I pledge allegiance to my flag and the republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. He did have one nation and then he had indivisible follow the words one nation. Indivisible. What a great word. It just means indestructible, incapable of being destroyed, incapable of being divided. It is indivisible. And he wrote, Francis Bellamy wrote, one nation, indivisible, right? Now, in 1923, a lot of years after 1892, when these words were originally written by Francis Bellamy, in 1923, the phrase and the words, I pledge allegiance to my flag, were changed to I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Correct. They were changed. That was in 1923. Interestingly, the same year that our 29th president, Warren Harding, Remember that president, please. Warren Harding, our 29th president of the United States, had perished. He had died on August 2nd. He passed away on August 2nd of 1923. And it's the same year, 1923, when um, this uh, committee flag conference decided to change the words of, I pledge allegiance to my flag. No, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Now, then, after 1923, more years, right, passed, and in 1954, President Eisenhower, our 34th president, President Eisenhower decides to talk to Congress. Congress, yes, you do make and pass the laws. We need to have a discussion here. And of course, Congress belongs to the legislative branch. The legislative branch, Congress, right? And um, Congress says, all right, so what, what, uh, what law do we need to consider here? And Eisenhower wanted the words, under God, the phrase, under God, under God, to be added right after one nation. So right after one nation, President Eisenhower, the 34th president, wanted the words or phrase, under God. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And isn't that something to think about? Francis Bellamy had written, one nation, indivisible, indestructible, incapable of being destroyed or divided. And then President Eisenhower said, let's add something, um, a more power of more uh, protection one nation under god indivisible with liberty and justice for all and congress passed it on june 14 1954 flag day the words were inserted one or um formally added one nation under god indivisible with liberty and justice for all. So how can you remember this? That on June 14, 1954, on Flag Day, finally the phrase, under God, was added or inserted to our Pledge of Allegiance, making it a 31 pledge, 31 word pledge. Here we go, let's sing it. On June 14, 1954, let's do a little chant, and then we sing it. On June 14, 1954, the words under God were added to the pledge. President Eisenhower added the words, 
Yes, on Flag Day of 1954. On June 14, 1954, the words under God were added to the pledge. The words under God were added to the pledge. Let's sing it. On June 14, 1954, the words under God were added to the pledge. President Eisenhower added the words, yes, on Flag Day of 1954. On June 14, 1954, the words under God were added to the pledge. The words under God were added to the pledge. We hope you enjoyed this class. Remember that Francis Bellamy was the original writer and author of the Pledge of Allegiance. And no, he did not insert those words under God. However, Francis Bellamy was a um, devout Christian of a Baptist church, and he was a minister. So he did not include those words. He believed in separation, the separation of church and state. But he was a devout Christian. Now, President Eisenhower, just put the words under God. He didn't name it. He just said, under God. One nation, under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And that was in the year 1954. Let's sing it one more time. On June 14, 1954, the words under God were added to the pledge. President Eisenhower added the words, yes, on Flag Day of 1954. Beautiful day.